Now, Warframe has a lot of augments for you to mess about with, right? Lots and lots of augments, but a lot of them are pretty much the bad or they suck or pretty pointless when it comes to building around them a specific build. Welcome on in, you beautiful feckers. Hope you're all doing well. Now, last night, some of our lesser used augments got some tweaks or some changes to freshen them up and maybe make them a bit of an option for you to add into future builds. Now, I say maybe because it's still hard to justify using a lot of these even with the changes, but that of course is entirely your choice. Now we also got themed loadout screens, so quality of life changes to your loadout screens now, complete with details of what's in each of the loadouts, and of course having the ability to use a glyph as the loadout's thumbnail, so some nice changes. Now I'm going to go through each of the augment changes listed with some footage showing off some of them and you can then decide yourself whether you like them or not or whether you think they are worth it or not. Now first up is the Hysterical Assault Augment for Valkyr. This is the augment that allows your Valkyr to pounce on enemies that are far away from you by aiming your crosshairs at that enemy and using your melee button. Now it's it's got a longer reach now with the changes and it gives you a little bit of an extra invulnerability when your energy drains. It's a bit of a pointless augment for a lot of players. It's more, I guess, for the fun side of things than anything else. It allows you to close the gap, but also gives you a split second more to get away from enemies if you're surrounded by them when your hysteria drains and you take all of that damage in one go. Now, it still feels like a pointless augment to me. Hysteria right now for a lot of players in the Warframe community is more of a panic mode button than anything else, a way to heal yourself back up while you're using I guess Warcry more than anything else but like I said a lot of players use it just for fun so if you enjoy using it then you're going to be happy with these changes. Now next up is Rising Storm for Ash. This is his Blade Storm augment. His clones their attacks will now add to your melee combo counter which allows you to scale it up insanely fast and the augment now also has a passive that allows you to have a higher duration on that combo counter as well. So you can scale it up faster and keep that combo counter active a lot longer. Now it is really worth it if you're a melee player, but hard to see, I guess, dropping out Seeking Shuriken, which is an augment that a lot of players really like using with Ash as a way to strip armor. So it's up to you which one of these two you prefer. I prefer Seeking Shuriken, and even with these changes, I think I would still stick to it. But feel free in the comment section below to let me know which one of these two augments you prefer. Now the next change is for Atlas, hopefully our next primed Warframe, and this is for his Titanic Rumbler augment. Your one gigantic Rumbler will now deal more damage and move faster. Recasting it will cause your Rumbler to slam on the ground, but also cause it to taunt at the same time, and it will soak up a lot of damage. It is really, really tanky, but even with the damage increase, it still seems to hit like a bloody wet fart. I mean, there's no fucking strength behind this thing at all. It's supposed to be made of stone. It's a big stone golem, but it kind of hits like it's made of Play-Doh. I mean, the fuck? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Now, the next augment to get a tweak is Oberon's Hallowed Ground augment, Hallowed Eruption. This is the one that allows you to recast Hallowed Ground and deal all of its remaining damage in one go. But now the augment also adds 100% base duration to the ability as well so an extra 20 seconds on top of what you already have mods won't increase the augments bonus duration so base duration of hallowed ground is 20 seconds and the augment gives you another 20 on top of that even when you add more mods more duration mods on you will still only get an extra 20 seconds from the augment but the bonus duration is nice being able to have up on one minute on hallowed ground is really nice being status immune for certain missions and it could be useful for squads that run missions where there is a lot i guess of status effects maybe on certain infested missions or eczema stronghold sorties and so on not to mention the radiation chaos that comes when enemies step onto hallowed ground they basically start shooting at one another now the next augment up is furious javelin for excalibur each enemy hit by javelin will increase your melee damage by a percentage this augments damage and duration have been increased while they were already affected by mods at the same time now i'm not sure i know many excalibur players that mod specifically for radial javelin anymore it used to be his go-to mod setup a very very long time ago but 
not so much now it's more about his exalted blade or even blind to a degree and again it is a melee specific augment so you need to be a player that loves running around doing melee only missions i guess to fully mod or build around having this augment on your setup so again entirely up to you now the next augment up for change is hydroid's tidal immunity Pretty straightforward, increased duration and immunity. This removes status effects like bleeds and so on from yourself and teammates that you pass through and it makes you immune to future status procs for 12 seconds. Now, the thing about using this augment is that adaptation exists, so I'm not sure just how much use this augment will get outside of maybe, again, an infested specific mission or a Kuva Fortress with all of the slash procs or even an Xmas stronghold adaptation is just much more effective now the next augment up is mags magnetized discharge there's a lot of discharge in warframe it's everywhere discharge all over the place it's been given extra range as a passive that's it it already had a potential for disarming enemies which is a bit of extra crowd control now it's got that little bit of extra range on top of it to make it that little bit more effective so whether you want to use this or i guess the counter pulse one it's entirely up to you. Now the next augment up is for Mesa, her shooting gallery augment called Muzzle Flash. Any kills made by you or your squad mates affected by shooting gallery will now increase the gauge for the blind once it hits 100%, that Muzzle Flash. Honestly, it's still a pretty meh augment. It's not great, but maybe you love running around flashing, then I guess <laughs> you do you. Next up is two augments for the same warframe, Mirage. Explosive Ledger Domain, for her sleight of hand ability which basically sets traps with ammo that drops on the ground or with chests and lockers this has now seen an increase in damage and status chance honestly still sucks still sucks i'm sorry i will never ever use this augment i think it's kind of uh, really 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 gimmicky but maybe you really enjoy it then again you do you and the second augment of mirage is that got a bit of a tweak is for her eclipse ability which now has more range to buff your fellow players which could be really useful because eclipse is incredibly powerful but the range and it has always really really sucked now the next augment tweak is for rhino big old crotch boy and his piercing roar augment this now allows you to recast roar which is great it staggers enemies also great and it increases the puncture debuff that enemies get when hit by that roar so not bad changes if you enjoyed running around screaming at things with your rhino now the next augment is for saren and her toxic lash ability contagion cloud this drops gas clouds when you kill enemies while affected by or toxic lash ability now these enemies can drop clouds when killed by a dot and not just i guess the killing blow by your melee weapon and its damage and range has also been increased i'll be honest toxic lash augment is one that i have ran with for quite a while i really enjoy it it's bloody fun it's not as effective, I guess, as Saren just using her abilities, but it is bloody fun. And now that it's gotten a bit of a buff, I'm going to use it even more. Saren doesn't really need the augment. Like I said, she kills everything in so many different ways and bloody quickly, but it is just a fun augment to use. So of course I'll do me. Now, next up is the augment for Volt, his transistor shield augment. This now allows teammates to pick up Volt's shields and move them around at no energy cost. So it's not going to drain Volt's energy while also converting any of the incoming damage that that shield takes to Volt's static passive. Now, it could be useful for certain missions where you're using shield a lot for fun as well. Personally, I'm not gonna use it. It's not my type of augment but let me know if you enjoy it or not. Now the next augment is for Zephyr and her Tailwind ability. That's right, Tailwind. Target fixation. Damage buff increased for each target you pass through and the buff that she gets will stay active for two seconds on the ground instead of disappearing straight away. So you more or less need to stay airborne to keep the buff active and then you can scale it up pretty fast by flying through enemies with Tailwind. Honestly, Tailwind? Tailwind. Honestly, it it's just it's a really bad augment it just it really is now that brings us up to the sonic fracture augment for banshee which now strips armor of enemies even if they don't get affected by the stagger which is an okay change the smokescreen augment for ash which now has increased range on putting your teammates into stealth along with you and the ivara navigator augment which adds a three meter punch through when using her navigator ability so they're okay changes but nothing to exactly get excited about 
However, the next five augments have seen some really nice changes. Augments for Warframe's first abilities, like Fireball, Freeze, Shock, Smite, and Venom. The augments for each of these five abilities now buff your teammates better than they did before. Simply by holding the cast button down for each one of these abilities for their Warframe will send a pulse outwards from your Warframe and any teammate caught inside that radius will be buffed with that elemental type. So extra fire damage by Ember, radiation by Oberon, cold by frost, toxic by Sauron and electric by Volt. Of course your sentinels and your pets are going to get affected by that buff as well. Previously you had to actually aim at your teammates to buff them whereas now it's on that area of effect buff that pulses outwards from your Warframe which is really bloody useful. So that's pretty much all of the augment changes and tweaks that we got last night. Like I said at the start of the video even with some of these changes a lot of these augments probably won't see the light of day or won't see much use. Some of them still some of them still feel pretty damn pointless but you can let me know in the comment section below if any of them look more appealing to you or not. Do me a huge favour and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or don't if you didn't. Subscribe for more Warframe and as always thanks very much for watching. No one ever sees me.